friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Airbnb and why we love it and why we think you'll love it too. We always uh, talk to our friends and families and um, people we just come across about how amazing Airbnb is. But uh, a lot of times we get reactions like, oh, I've tried it once or I haven't really tried it. Well, we're basically here to convince the people who are like on the edge of trying out Airbnb to take that leap. I guess the number one reason you want to look at Airbnb is to look at an alternative to a hotel. Uh, you could be doing that for several reasons. Uh, one could be price. Uh, maybe you find Airbnb pricing more appealing. That's typically why we turn to Airbnb mm -hmm. first. Wherever we're looking for a new booking somewhere, especially in a new place, we want to stay in an Airbnb because typically it's either comparable to nice hotels or cheaper. And then you're getting a local um, guide a lot of the times because they'll provide information on your surroundings. And you have a go-between, someone you can message um, and, and, and talk to and get, and get answers from uh, all during your stay uh, with Airbnb. For sure. And there's over 4 million Airbnbs all over the world, which is, I think, like 191 countries out of 195. So they're everywhere so they're always a go-to and if you want something a little different to spice up your trip they're perfect because they are always usually a little different than just your average hotel room right and um you know you never almost never stay in the same airbnb twice of course you can go back to them if you really enjoy them but you know if you want to spice things up and not always stay at you know a hilton or mm -hmm. a, a loft um, you can really change up your experience and get a lot closer to things that uh, you want to be close to without having to pay necessarily a premium price. Uh, for instance, you know, if you want to be close to Times Square, uh, you'll pay much less for a um, condo or a penthouse than you would for a lot of the uh, suites uh, in that area. Um, and then, you know, we do want to address uh, some concerns that, you know, some people uh, may have about Airbnb before signing up, like, safety and reliability and things like that now of course um, safety should be a concern no matter what you're doing and um, that's of course no difference here with airbnb uh, just for reference we've stayed in over 30 of them and we've actually hosted i think around 100 guests mm -hmm. um, and what we can say is that there are uh, through our experiences with hotels and airbnb um, Airbnb, hotels, uh, as long as you're being careful, you're being safe and you're practicing common sense, neither one is more or less safe than the other. Mm -hmm. You got to remember, Airbnb hosts, they're registered on the site, you know, their information is there. If, you know, they were to attack you or steal from you, you have so many um, deterrents from yeah. that, just like at, you know, a hotel, you know, a hotel... Uh, has uh, people who work there at the concierge, people who enter your room. Um, you know, so you have to understand that there's a certain amount of um, deterrents put in place that are in place naturally uh, to keep people from, you know, doing things to you while you're renting an Airbnb. You know, some of those are monetary, some of those are legal. So, um, you know, I definitely would not um, fret um, any more than you would booking a hotel uh, in the same area, you know, so if you're staying in Brooklyn and you're deciding between, you know, a hotel within walking distance and an Airbnb within walking distance of where you want to be, um, your concern should be more about what's going on in the neighborhood and not what's actually going on uh, with the Airbnb right. hosts. And if you're still feeling like a little hesitant, we recommend just going with a super host because a super host is guaranteed or more likely to give you a, a safer experience, you know that they're good at what they do. A better experience all around, really. A super host, what they have to do is maintain a certain high standard over a period of time uh, in order to qualify. And um, that standard is not easy to come by. One or two poor reviews can tank them for the next period. Every three months, um, a host is up for review for super host. Um, so they can lose that status um, and it's not easy to regain. You can't take negative marks off your, um, off your record. Um, super hosts are motivated to uh, keep that status because it helps them book. And they're passionate um, about it. They're ranked higher yes. and right. It's it's nice to have the Super Host <laughs> badge, um, you know. So uh, if if you know you're really really concerned 
Uh, don't book with anybody but Superhost. You know they're reliable, they're established, and um, that should alleviate some of your worries, just like some of the major hotel chains, right? You go to them because you're familiar with them, they have a name. Um, a lot of people, uh, I should say hosts on Airbnb, they built up great reputations as well. Mm -hmm. Let's touch upon the review system again, uh, again for a second. Here's the beauty of, um, of Airbnb that really sets it apart from hotels for me, is the reliability of their reviews. Now, if you go search for a hotel, um, you'll find hundreds, probably thousands of reviews on TripAdvisor, Yelp, a million different resources. And if you're like us, you read a bunch, right? Yeah. You go through and you're comparing what's the worst thing anyone said, what's the thing they rave about the most. But no matter how many poor reviews you find, if you're finding any, the reviews overall score will be relatively good mm -hmm. between three and a half to five stars out of five. We don't find that this is necessarily indicative of the experience you're going to have. Um, not like when we uh, go through Airbnb. Airbnb listings are far and away more accurately represented than hotel listings. Mm -hmm. In our experience, we've stayed scores of hotels and, um, like I said, over uh, 40 Airbnb stays. And uh, this is what we find. You know, when we review a hotel and book, uh, it's often not nearly as up to snuff to the actual thing as Airbnb right. bookings are. And I feel like it's a lot harder to add some fraudulent reviews because we all know those are out there too and i just feel like it's a hell of a lot harder to do a fake review on airbnb than there is on all of these other review platforms right you know i'm not gonna say there aren't you know airbnb hosts out there who you know rent to their friends and family and have them leave amazing reviews i'm you know i i, I that's probably happened but definitely like she just said it's not happened as rampantly um as uh with uh, other platforms because anyone can sign up for TripAdvisor and stay say they stayed somewhere mm -hmm. um, and then write a review, um, you know, and that's uh, that's a problem. You know, it's kind of like Amazon, you know, has that issue with fake reviews. Airbnb, uh, you're going to run into that much much less. Now that doesn't say that Airbnb is not going to have its issues, but they do so well by their customers, mm -hmm. and we're telling you this straight up. Again, as people who've hosted on Airbnb, they are much, much, much more uh, favorable towards the yes. uh, guests than they are to the hosts. Not saying we were mistreated, just that um, our overall experience uh, as guests are much more favorable when we run into issues than when we were hosts. Yes. So um, take solace in that. You know, um, you have a giant behemoth of a company uh, who's going to have your back if and when issues do arise. Um, just, you know, be honest, be courteous, keep uh, records of, of course, your transactions and your messages. Um, whatever message you send between yourself and the host should be sent through the app because Airbnb can see them if any issues um, uh, can arrive. They really have your back. They'll, they'll go in there, they'll see what's going on. And if it's, as you say, uh, it is, you will be refunded or made whole, whatever it is uh, you're looking for. Um, I can definitely vouch for that. Yeah. Okay, so that covers safety, that covers cost, um, we've covered um, reliability. Um, I think, you know, uh, the important thing to remember or to just take away uh, when you're going to book an Airbnb is um, you have to have great value. You mm -hmm. know, at the end of the day, um, you know, you want to find that hidden gem, you want to find that cozy home, you want to find that maybe new friendship um you know whatever uh it takes to feel like you made a good buy and i could say that airbnb is one of the places where uh the odds are high mm -hmm. to do that you know um we've fallen in love with places just by looking them over reading the reviews and um reading how the host has articulated um you know the layout of their space you know everyone is different Everyone is unique and everyone, almost everyone that is hosting is passionate yeah. about it. You know, they take pride in getting good reviews. It's not simply about their ranking. Um, really, when that review comes in, they're like, oh, yeah. wow, you know, they had, they really had a great time. They really yeah. loved the little um, accents we put in there mm -hmm. and they noticed. 
Um, so, um, you know, you can really make it quite the experience for yourself. Um, and with the plethora of, uh, uh, of Airbnb type accommodations out there, I'm talking about, you know, um, um, you know, what, what are the kind of things like Airstreams? Oh, right. Like they're just cabins. Creative. It's like, it's almost as like a reality show, right? Like they all have these like little contests who can do the most creative Airbnb, which makes it so interesting, especially as a guest. Cause you're like, I never thought I would ever stay in something like this. I think the closest thing they have for hotels that's similar like that is those igloo. Yeah. Homes right. In like right. Alaska or something right. like that. Um, but there's so many of those like that and Airbnb. Like yeah. they do their best, like a competition. Let's see let's see how creative you can get with this Airbnb. Absolutely. Yeah. One of our favorite Airbnb hosts are uh Hideout. Um they mm -hmm. host um several Airbnbs in, in Bali. Um and um their Instagram is, is is up here and it's just we found an Airbnb and the, again it's one of those where we're like, What? <laughs> what is this? Like we fell in love. Yeah. Like, you know, it was out in the middle of nowhere, okay? Location was punted. Yeah. We, it was just us. <laughs> that category, we said, uh, see you later. Yeah. It's worth it. You yeah. know, this experience is once in a lifetime. And I'm telling you, you're more likely to find one of those on Airbnb than you will at any hotel. I mean, that's actually a perfect example of safety because we were in the middle of nowhere. It was just the two of us, two Americans. At night, we got a little freaked out by some stuff that was going on. We heard some chanting. So we're kind of freaking out a little bit. And sure enough, it's the middle of the night. We, we text our host. We messaged our host and said, hey, is it normal to hear some chanting? And they responded right away. Yeah. Like, yes, it's okay. They're hunting Luwak. You're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out, you know, it's a, a traditional Balinese night hunt. Yeah. And, you know, we were out in the middle of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't, you know, uh, obviously that, that specific experience isn't for everyone. Yeah. But... I can't put a price on that for us. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and you know, when we say there are, you know, millions of experiences out there, uh, there are, and you know, we truly believe and endorse the idea that there's uh, one or two or 20 out there for you. Right. Um, so, you know, when next time you're, you know, you're just feeling for a change, you know, and you want to try something else. Maybe you've looked up hotels and you're like, oh my gosh, look how expensive everything is or everything's booked up. Go to Airbnb. Or even, Just even take if, a look. Even if you're going a few states away for a weekend getaway, check out Airbnb. You know, maybe even check it out. Log in, sign up. Not even sign up. Not even log in. Just browse. You don't mm -hmm. need an ID. You don't have to have an account to just browse. You just want to look at because you know sometimes you just go to google flights or whatever expedia and just type in our destination jet blue and 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 just Daydream. browse you know Daydream. we love we window shop right <laughs> try that with airbnb and it might inspire you to go someplace you never even thought of just because you want to stay at that airbnb now i don't know about you but that's never happened to me for a hotel yeah. you know um We've stayed in some amazing hotels, okay? Royal Kamuela being probably the best, all right? Uh, so, we you know, we're not going to pretend like we've never stayed at, you know, at hotels amazing that we want to stay yeah. in again and that have really, really um, um, uh, given us an experience of a lifetime. But it's just for the value of Airbnb, nothing comes close. Yeah. Nothing comes close, you know? Um, so I think that's the most important factor, guys. Um, of course, cost is a factor, but again, I think uh, Airbnb, um, it will either be commensurate or favorable uh, when you stack it up against uh, the, the nice hotels. I'm right. not talking about the budget ones where they're not as clean and, you know, you got to worry about, you know, who's coming in and out. Mm -hmm. No, you know, um, you pay what you get for no matter where you are, right? But, uh, um, you know, reliability. Uh, we covered that and of course safety um, but at the end of the day value I think is huge for everyone and uh, Airbnb is where you get it and that's why that's why we always recommend it yes if you have any questions please leave them below our next video on Airbnb is going to be talking about Airbnbs versus hotels uh, during COVID 
um, because the prices of Airbnbs have risen a little bit because of the cost of cleaning. Uh, you want to stay in a clean, immaculate Airbnb, especially during these times. So um, uh, hosts have been compensated with that by raising their cleaning fees. Um, so hotels and Airbnbs, we're going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, how you should go about booking them during these times. All right, and speaking of signing up, uh, there is a link below that we included. Um, now, what it is is a referral link. You can get up to $65 credit uh, if you sign up using that link once you make your first booking. Now, of course, we get a $20 credit towards travel uh, when you book your trip as well. So it's a win-win. You don't have to use the link, uh, of course, um, but it, if you just type in Airbnb and sign up on your own, then you won't get uh, any kind of referral bonus whatsoever. Um, so uh, use that link below and it helps us and it helps you um, whenever you make your first booking on Airbnb. You can use those credits towards, uh, towards that booking. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you have any questions about the sign-up process or anything we've discussed in this video, please let us know. Uh, again, any other uh, links or information you need will be below. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Ciao. Cheers.